Hello! Today I'm going to show you guys how to create your own planner stickers in Silhouette Studio. So today I'm going to show you how to design them starting from scratch. So here I am using the draw tools. I'm going to just create a little rounded triangle. Oh, sorry, excuse me, rounded little triangle. <laughs> rounded rectangle. And then I'm going to duplicate it so that way I have several copies and then you can either um, duplicate to the left to the right or if you have a Mac you can use the command button and then click on the arrows and then that will automatically create more and then I'm going to create little smaller boxes that are going to be kind of like the area that you write in side so I'm going to create those and then I'm going to create a couple um because I do want to create a couple of kind of list type stickers so I'm gonna create two smaller ones and then I'm actually gonna just replicate the completed one already that way I don't have to keep um repeating the same kind of work so then now I'm going to um, actually move them out of the way for now so that way we can work on the outer box which will be the fun designs. So I'm going to go to the fill, um, the f my pattern fills and these are all just a ton of patterns that, you, that I purchased from the Silhouette Design Store and a lot of them um, actually came with the program so I'm just going to kind of look through and pick the ones that I want. I think I want to go with more kind of like a watercolor um, since the watercolor flowers are really on trend right now. So I'm going to choose a couple of ones that I really like and then um, there you go. And now I'm going to create the opaque middles so that way you can write in it and that way you can actually see the ink. And so what you're going to do is you're going to grab the inner boxes and then choose the colors that you want. So for this one I'm going to do white and then for this one I'm going to use the actually I'm going to use the drop the dropper tool and use the color that's in the design and then do the same for this one. I'm going to do the lime green and then um, if you see if you were to carry it over it's you know dark which sometimes you you do want the dark but sometimes you want the background to be seen so I'm going to show you today how to make that transparent so you're going to click down on the bottom where it says transparency and then you're just going to use the slider bar to make it as transparent as you want and then you're going to repeat the steps for the orange and then you can either like I said choose to leave it opaque or make it more transparent so that way you can see the back. I'm going to make this one transparent as well. Perfect. I'm going to actually make them a little bit bigger just by dragging one of the corners. And then for this one I'm just going to kind of rearrange the middles and then actually decided to make this one just one big area so I'm gonna just click on it and then drag the area that way I have more of a larger space to write versus the list type. That's the beauty of planner stickers is that you can size them according to your planner and also format them any way you like. And then I'm going to label them. Um, I'm gonna make this one Monday and you know like if you have um, a list of things that you have to do um, on a day you can label them Monday and then Magnolia um, Magnolia Sky is one of my favorite fonts so I'm going to use that and just move the box down so that way they're not overlapping perfect and then for this one I'm going to drag the boxes down a little bit and then I'm going to make this one say to do so then I'm going to scroll through all the hundreds of fonts that I have and just choose a fun, a fun font. Perfect. And then you can color it 
any color you want. I usually choose black just because it it just kind of pops. So I'm just going to move the boxes down until I until they fit the way that I like it. And then the last one, I'm going to make this one. Um, I'm going to make this one uh, one to remind me of any bills that I have to pay. So again, scroll down, choose a font you like, choose a color that you like. And I always just like to make the line color black just so that I can actually see what it would look like because the red lines are actually cut lines but um, in this case we're not going to actually cut those words we just want to use them and I'm going to show you just um, kind of a little bit of my um, other options that you can do um, these are just all files that I purchased from the silhouette store and just kind of showing you what I have and other kind of ideas that you can do. For example, um, do, 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 do. I have so many files, you guys. I have like thousands of them. See this cheetah one right here? They kind of had the same technique where they kind of did the transparent background on a busy, transparent foreground on a really busy background. So, um, they, you can make little planner flags, you can make can convert any of these little cute characters, little strawberry, into sticker if you want. Um, kind of make Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, little tiny ones. Um, you can use fun backgrounds. Um, and then I'm going to show you a little bit more um, using kind of these fun backgrounds. I'm going to create some different ones. So um, I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. And I'm just going to let you just watch me create um, another set. So thanks so much for watching and hope you have a good day.